First on Fox, a Hillsdale Village employee has been arrested after a Fox 2 photojournalist is run over with the village's top leader in the passenger seat. Now this happened as the Fox Files investigators were looking into the village's threat to tow multiple cars for not having proper stickers. Longtime Fox 2 photojournalist Wade Smith was seriously hurt. Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy was there with Wade as the team investigated and attempted to get answers. Hello to you. The Fox Files started to ask questions about the tow warning back in August. That's when all of this went down. After our colleague's injury, Fox 2 made the editorial decision not to air any of the footage from that day until police had the opportunity to investigate. While we never try to become the story, what happened that day is best told chronologically from how we ended up in Hillsdale to my photographer being rushed to the hospital. Every car on the block had an orange sticker on the car. Donisha Rayner woke up August 11th to a bright orange sticker on her car. The village of Hillsdale threatened to tow it for not having a valid village permit sticker. They did this back a couple months ago. They just was telling everybody like uh, they were going to tow their cars and if you don't have this or that or if you're if somebody's visiting you and they don't get a village sticker, they're going to tow the course. Rayner had seen recent Fox Files investigations into municipalities towing cars for code violations. She thought the village of Hillsdale overstepped, so she called Fox 2 for help. They, they trying to find ways to get money and and th this is a way. She's going to have her car towed in 24 hours. Siobhan Kirkman says her mom's truck had a tow warning on it. Again, for not having a village permit sticker on the windshield. We come out the house and we see a sticker. Uh, my mom's just visiting. That's not even my car. The residents are the only ones that lose out. The Fox Files wanted answers for Denisha and Siobhan. We went to Village Hall looking for answers. The doors were locked because of lunch hours, but Police Chief John Burnson came around the corner and said vehicles may get a 24 hour tow warning for various reasons. Expired temp tags, mm -hmm. uh, no village sticker, expired plates, wrong plates, counterfeit tags, all kinds of stuff. Burnson said he did not know how many vehicles got the sticker. How many cars are you towing or, or how many cars have been towed? Don't know. For, we do that for a long time. They do it for years. But what would the chief's boss say about the towing of cars? See that minivan right behind the chief? That belongs to Dorothy Moore, the mayor, or her official title, chair of the board of trustees. Is the mayor here? Uh, no. Isn't that her van? Uh, she's uh, at her, what you call it, her store. Her store? Yep. So, but she parks her car here? Uh, she was here, Okay. but they go back to their store. The conversation ended and the chief went back inside Village Hall. We then heard more. His boss, the one supposedly at her corner store, inside, asking him why we were there. Mayor Moore, can you do an interview? We waited for an hour for the Village Hall to reopen. I went inside the main entrance to ask Moore for an interview. After all, multiple cars could be towed in 24 hours. But we just heard her back there. While talking with the village clerk and police chief, the mayor goes out the back door. You can hear photojournalist Wade Smith alert me. There she goes. Moore is climbing into the public works mayor. truck. Here's how the moment played out. Mayor, why are you avoiding us? Mayor, people want to know what, what's, go, what's going on with these tickets? Mayor, why are you... Mayor, why are you avoiding us? Mayor, people. This is the last image photojournalist Wade Smith captured before getting run over by the trailer attached to the truck and the camera hitting the ground. An accident report obtained by the Fox Files alleges Moore told the village employee to drive away. Smith happened to capture video of the truck and trailer earlier in the day while we were waiting for Village Hall to reopen. An ambulance took the Fox 2 photographer to the hospital for emergency surgery. According to the accident report, Smith has serious leg injuries and the Hillsdale worker saw the photographer on the ground in his rearview mirror, but told police he was unaware the Fox 2 employee had been hit. According to the report, both the village worker and Moore returned to the scene after being contacted by police and made statements. 
Velda City police officers were called to investigate the accident because it involved a Hillsdale employee. Velda City's police chief confirms the driver, a Hillsdale employee, was arrested earlier this week, but he's been released pending a prosecutor's review to decide if charges will be filed. It is Fox 2's policy not to name anyone until charges are filed, which is why we're not naming the Hillsdale worker in this report. As for our colleague, he's at home recovering. For the Fox Files, I'm Mitch McCoy.